Thanks for dropping in. We're back from summer break with an update to Printy Pipes, my 3D printed construction toy. In the last video, I shared easier to print connectors in more resilient pipes. This week, I have even more connector types and new pipe options. Let's start with the connectors. There are seven new options, each with ports that are offset by 120 degrees. These are ideal for building hexagonal structures. The hex connectors come in L, Y, corner, edge, four-way, five-way, and Y-hinge varieties. Just like their 90-degree counterparts, each connector is comprised of two easily printed halves, which are pulled together with optional dovetail pins. I use these connectors for my puzzle display at MRF, the Midwest RepRap Festival. It works so well that I plan to build much larger displays for future events. I loved it when people realized that all those 3D printed toys were sitting on a very practical 3D print. But let's get back to the updates. These trickier angles introduce some new complications to printy pipes. Let's say you have a hexagon like this and would like to add a brace from one side to the other. This distance is too long for a long pipe, yet too short for a couple standard linked medium pipes. In fact, any combination of small, medium, or long pipes with standard connectors won't quite reach this distance. Now, I could make a new pipe length, but then what happens when you build a hexagon using that pipe? Now you need a new pipe length to support bridging that distance. This is where pipe extenders come in. Pipe extenders join multiple pipes with a little wiggle room to customize the space between them. In this case, two medium pipes pressed firmly together will work just fine. Thanks to the grooves built into the extender, you can get a broad range of distances, especially if you're using this longer version. As a bonus, extenders also give pipes a little more strength for cases where rigidity is important. If you saw the last video, you might recall that pipes have an internal rib to provide a greater clamping force. Obviously, this rib is a problem if you want to use extenders. So the default pipe is now rib-free. To make up for that weaker snap, the clamps at the end of the pipe are intentionally thicker. If you prefer the rib version of the pipes, you can still download them but they're no longer the recommended option. While at MRF, I wanted to see how well printy pipes would hold up to a little rough handling. I'm happy to say that only five pipes out of the hundreds I brought broke during the three long days of tough use. This even includes a few cases where curious visitors were given permission to intentionally test the strength of the prints. When pipes did break, it was usually around the connector holes. These holes are for various optional locking accessories, like lock rings. If you don't plan on using these accessories, there's really no reason to print a pipe with an extra weak point. So pipes are now available without these holes. Print whichever version works best for you. The last pipe update is new curved pipes. And yes, they're also easier to print and assemble than the older version. The curved pipe is built from two end pieces that have hardly any overhang at all, and two middle pieces that are printed flat. All four parts are held together purely with clamping forces. No glue is required. For my prints, I stuck with Marble Pet G for the ends, since those need to flex, and Marble PLA for the more rigid center, but you could use this as an opportunity to print a more contrasting color in the middle. These are all the connector and pipe updates, but I have one extra item. Snap-in slats add flat surfaces to printy pipe constructions. I realized that if I'm going to make some larger printy pipe displays, I might as well make some larger slats to go along with it. So you can now print slats that are twice as wide as before. And as always, you can mix and match slats to get different lengths as needed. More slats can cover larger pipe spans. That's all for this Printy Pipe update. 
I will have at least one more in the future, but I think everyone's ready for something a little different. What'll that be? I don't actually know, but I'll be happy to share it with you in two weeks. Until then, happy printing and thanks for stopping by.